Hi, I'm Freddy. And I'm Marky. And today we searched various stores and the Xbox store to bring you the best deal we found for this week. Before we start, please remember to give us a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for notification. It will help our channel grow. With that being said, let's get started. To start, we have Borderlands 3 available at Best Buy for $19.99. Now, this one is a bit odd because I know Borderlands 3 thrives off of its post-game DLC content. Specifically, it has two season passes, one of them complete, the other one currently being worked on. However, you can't go wrong with the base game itself at $19.99. It's still a full, a full product to enjoy, even without all the DLC. And even then, there's some free things to grab as well that are worth checking out. As, as you guys might have already known, it's a open world RPG style, but looter shooter styled game that's completely built around the concept of gathering millions and millions of guns that do all kinds of different things to do. A very humor driven and very tongue in cheek story. It's got a lot of different scenarios and stuff for you to explore, multiple characters to play as with different abilities for you to change up your play style, and a bunch of options for you to play together with friends via online or locally, you can't go wrong with 20 bucks for it, so definitely recommend checking it out. Moving on to Microsoft Store deals, we have Control, the Ultimate Edition, at $19.99. For those of you who have yet to experience this, Control Ultimate Edition is a highly acclaimed third-person exploration shooter game. It explores a lot of the supernatural aspects, it's got a lot of mystery to the story, uh, a lot of superpowers to play with too, quote unquote superpowers, but uh, the story is mostly revolved around an era of mystery that has a lot of stuff for you to do to theory craft and form your own ideas. One that really lets you think and really gets you involved and wrapped up in both the characters as well as the scenarios that the characters are placed in. It's one of the more highly acclaimed games from the year 2019, and so if you haven't played it yet, this is one of the best ways to experience it. Uh, Freddy, uh, for the Ultimate Edition here, uh, what technical improvements are we going to be seeing from it? Uh, first, the Ultimate Edition is going to have two expansion on the main story. And uh, definitely you're going to have the the next generation upgrade. So you'll be able to, to play uh, 120 frames per second if you don't enable the ray tracing. Or you can enable the ray tracing and take advantage of the all the power of the next generation. But in that case, you'll be playing at 30 frames per second. So all in all, definitely with the DLCs and these graphics, the visual upgrades at 1999, I agree with you. I feel this is the lowest price the game can reach for a while. Also for the Microsoft Store, we have Payday 2, the Crime Wave Edition, available at 599. It's a four player co-op based online uh, shooter game where it's a, the game main gameplay loop is built around tackling, robbing a bank, in any kind of way you want, using whatever kind of characters you need to get the job done and working with your teammates to see it done. To get walk out with as much money as possible where you use that to customize and upgrade your character so that you can tackle bigger and better banks and missions along the way. It's a purely multiplayer experience. Uh, it's recommended obviously with friends. You can play online with random people, uh, but you're gonna get the most experience of it playing with uh, people that you know. But can't go wrong with six bucks, so definitely give it a shot. Marky, there are different versions of these games. Uh, what does the Crime Wave Collection offer? The main thing that you're going to be seeing with the Crime Wave Collection, Freddy, is the fact that while there are other versions, there's collector's editions and stuff that have all the DLC, because this game has been updated for quite a few years now, the Crime Wave Edition specifically gives the game a visual upgrade. Uh, a lot of things have been updated from, a, like I said, it's a pretty old game, but you can see a lot of visual upgrades in this Crime Wave Edition. There's still a lot of DLC that you would have to get that it does not include, but it's still the best way to kind of get your foot in the door and start playing Payday 2 as quickly as possible and as cheap as possible. That's great. I never played this game, but after hearing about it, I feel I can imagine it's going to be a lot of fun with friends. The last game we have from Microsoft Store is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night for $19.99. The game was funded through Kickstarter website by those who loved Castlevania from back in the days. And now it's exciting to see the same type of game with modern visuals. 
Definitely. Uh, Bloodstained is definitely a direct inspiration of Castlevania Symphony of the Night specifically, about those old school exploration Castlevania titles. It's got a well put together story. It's got some prolific voice actors, including David Hayter for Metal Gear fans. It's got a lot of different modes to tackle and different challenges for you to see, secrets to find and big things to explore and bosses to fight. The game is actually, I believe, still being updated with smaller modes and newer tweaks here and there, and a lot of background lore and behind the scenes stuff that's worth exploring too. It's one of the best games you can get for in the indie market, and for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong, so definitely check it out. We didn't have any good deals from Target or GameStop. The prices they offered and the deals, uh, we feel uh, the games can go even lower. So we're gonna always just mention the best deal we find in our channel. These were the deals we picked for this week. Did you play any of the games we mentioned? Or are you gonna pick up any of them now that they're on sale? Don't forget to let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all next week.